are you buying the whole Shane and Shana's platonic friendship thing? Are you, are you really buying it? I don't know. I don't know. Let's get into it. But wait, before then, welcome to Women's Watch Show with me, Clara Chizubakramberg. And today is the review of Love is Blind Season 2. After the altar. <laughs> we all know that it's been going down. Like in season 12, it was really going down. The whole going for the wedding and all of that. People that left at the altar. People that said I do. And people said I won't. So, the altar, after the altar reunion, after the altar was really a whole new vibe. Like, okay, let's get into it. Shayna. Huh? Is that how it's pronounced? Shayna. For now, I think Shayna might be engaged, but do you remember many times she tried to sabotage um, the relationship of Shane and Natalie? Oh, I mean, and now she's saying, oh, our friendship is all platonic. I don't know. I don't know. But honestly, I think Natalie, girl, you should just move on. You got to move on. Don't let this, you know, this whole situation build insecurity in you. Like, don't make, don't let it make you so insecure. And you know what I would say is that karma does exist. And the truth always comes out at the end of the day. Because through, during the end of this whole video, you know, the altar thing, um, there was always, or everybody was saying they haven't seen the text message. They haven't seen the chat on on social media as natalie was referring to so i just think that if it's the truth and actually shane said if you have a receipt you should just display so everybody will see it i think there is really a little bit of drama they're really making you to be more insecure i mean making natalie to be more insecure but honestly you should move on girl um if you have a receipt just bring it out so we have some more things to talk about. And at the same time, you actually free yourself from all these. Maybe she's lying, maybe this, maybe that. And just move on. But I think that Shayna, girl, you were really a whole lot of dramatic. Like, you really want to Shane, but now you engage and it's all about, oh, we're just platonic. I don't really care. We're just platonic. We're just friends. I don't buy it. I really don't buy it. I think it's because now you have, like, a mogul, a business mogul that you are engaged to and you want to stick to that. You don't want to really ruin your name, sort of. But hey, we're just watching from here. So what I'm saying is, Natalie, girl, just move on and don't let this thing build insecurity in you. You are a beautiful lady. You know your worth and you know what you wanted. That's why you said no, that this is not what I want and you don't want to settle for less. So good for you, girl. Good for you. Well, Sa came to the Get Away Wine Tasting Party with his new girlfriend, Jesse. Ooh. If you remember very well, Sa was, you know, was walked out of the altar um but um with her with him and mallory so he walked out he didn't want the marriage he didn't want to say i do because he wasn't feeling it for so many reasons which he mentioned at this particular you know series this particular segment or show but to be honest i think that sa coming to this party with the new girlfriend and the new girlfriend oh my god she came with the energy maybe she's real though i think she might really have the energy in real life you know the whole yeah this and she was all over the place she was really really all over the place um i think she might be real but i also think that she was overdoing it being on top of you know all over the place just to really get on mallory's neck so the guy everybody was like who is this girl she was just all about oh he's my best friend i love the way he's very open this that this that so hey you know what i'm very happy for sal if he's happy but the jessica they are very opposite yes they say the opposite attracts i don't know in some situations but um if this girl is real good for you if she's not i hope you find a balance which you are actually ready to propose so good for you guy if you're happy who are we to say jack to that well jared and iyana <laughs> iyana moved out of the house due to reasons that she actually mentioned that jared was just being immature um i 
<laughs> the guy wasn't ready with this whole marriage thing. He got the way she, ex I, I love the way she explains and really actually expresses herself. He is all about, you know, he's not what he's not ready to move on. He will go out and drink too much, you know, stay till morning, not reminding that he has a wife at home, actually. So remembering rather that he has a wife at home. So he just doing like a bachelor thing. So um, I think it was the call to action when um, Jared, um, Iana moved out of the house and he actually like got woken to, you know, step up his game and perhaps behave better. It seems like they are really putting in the work to be better with each other. I hope they are. I hope he is. And I hope it works out for them because they seem to be like one of the couples that are actually making a great effort to be better um to make the marriage work jared will really want it so it seems like he's gonna make it work out for them so dave t and carl they were in situation shape um i don't know who wants to be in that situation like you're vibing with somebody you have the same energy like you have the same frequency and you want the same thing you love the same thing you think you talk with this person in the morning go to bed with you know literally with this person on phone um it's just and then you allow yourself to be in that situation where you are scared what if you lose the friendship what if it doesn't work out hey girl you know what you never know until you try that's what i'm saying you have to put yourself out there. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if you are feeling it, you're gonna go for it. Just go with the vibe, you know, go with the energy, go with the flow. The universe always have a way of aligning things that are actually ours. And once you're feeling it, you just have to go for it. Don't let this whole uncertainty and the fear of the unknown stop you from pursuing whatever you're going after. I think it's the same, the same applies to you know like whatever we're doing in life it, it applies literally to every that because we're scared of oh what if i fail what if it doesn't work out what if it does so well good for them kylie actually stepped up the game and made the light, right move i think um so i hope it works out for them dipti seems to be a very sweet lady she really is self-sufficient and knows what she wants she's self-established as well so i feel like both of them are, have good soul and the vibrates in the same frequency so good for you guys uh and then um we have danielle and nick these two couple made me so make makes me so much uncomfortable. I don't know why, but they actually makes me uncomfortable to watch. But at the same time, they seem sweet. Um, they seem to really want to make it work. Marriage generally, you know, is hard. It's really, really hard. And being that you met somebody in a pod and you have to come out to start learning to know this person all over. Um you know, it's really difficult. So I think that's why I'm rooting actually for Shane uh, and for Kylie and um, Dipti because uh, for Kyle and Dipti, because I think that because they started on the friendship level, they became, they built the friendship. So the love might will now really be, you know, strong and the friendship will hold it, it rather than love. Because to be honest, love is not a lot enough in marriage. Is it? Is it? You think love is enough? Let me know what you think. Is love enough in marriage? And is love truly blind? So I think love is wide open if you open your eyes very well. <laughs> But hey, this is a good experiment, you know. So Daniel and Nick, um, yeah, uh, they seem to be making it work. I don't really care so much about, yeah. No, honestly, don't have so much comment to make there. But they they seem to be to want it work. I think that's the word there. So and they are making the effort to make it work. So good for them. At the end of the day, the couples I'm actually rooting for, to be honest, is um, Jared and Iyana. Because I feel like Iyana is a woman who, at this life, where she is, she knows what she wants. She ex she actually is putting, you know, in the work. Both of them, to be honest. Jared, he, he accepted his flaws and is trying to make adjustment to make it work. So that's good. And they were the ones that, you know, the experiment took, uh, from the poll, they came out and they're still in progress. So we really, I think I'm rooting for them, to be honest. I feel like they might work if Jared, Jared puts his actions in place because Iyana aren't joking. He's not joking. Like, she will walk away if that guy continue acting like that. Have you heard? Like, I'm going to say it in Nigerian accent, like, the guy, Guaka, if you, eh, 
if if you no put in action, as in ah no, the girl go worker if Jared no puts in action together. It makes sense. Do you understand that? I mean, honestly. So Jared, if you really want this marriage to work, you gotta work it together because God knows what she wants and she's not settling for less. So I'm also rooting for Kyle and Dipti. I think that Dipti is amazing. I love Dipti. I really think she deserves the best, just like all of us do. She's the sweet girl. She deserves the best. And both of them have a beautiful soul. I think they might work. So eyes on them. We, who knows? They might just walk out and, hey, we'll see. I don't care so much about Shayna because the girl have thrown so many shit trying to sabotage relationship. And finally, she got her own relationship going. She's engaged. But do I really care? I don't, honestly. But good luck to her, girl. Good luck to you. Natalie, I'm also rooting for you. I hope you move on. I hope you find the man of your dreams. Someone who will respect and love you. The way you love them back, that's what I root for you for. And I think you, you're generally a sweet girl. So, hey, that's, that's about that, you know. And then, um, but I want to know, what do you think about Love is Blind season two after the altar? What's your opinion? What do you think about the show? Do you think they killed it? Do you think they did well? Please let me know in the comment section. And this has been amazing, um, reviewing this show for you. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. My name is Clara Chisa Bakrumbach, and you just watched the review in Women's Workshop. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs>